Hi, in today's data engineering video, I'm going to walk you through on how to use Azure Synapse Analytics to integrate Google BigQuery data to Azure SQL database. Let's get started. First, we're going to create a data set in the BigQuery, create a table and load CSV data to the data set table. Then, we're going to create a table in the destination, which is the Azure SQL database that's going to hold the data coming from the BigQuery. Next, we're going to implement the data integration using the Azure Synapse by creating data sets and linked services to the source and destination. Let's go in, into this project. So I'm going to come to my console.cloud.google.com. I'm going to click on this navigation menu and then I'm going to scroll down and then click on BigQuery. So we want to launch the BigQuery Studio. So in the Query Studio, I'm going to see the Cornerstone IT Solution Project and I'm going to click on the ellipses. We want to create a data set and I'm going to give this one a name. I'm going to call this one Azure underscore sales and then click on create data set. Next, we want to create a table. So click on this data set ellipses and then create table. And then I can go to the source. This is going to be coming from my upload and then go ahead and browse through the location. I'm going to pick this sales2023.csv, double click. I'm going to say the file format, comma, separated value. And then for the destination, it's going to be to my project and then the data set. And then I'm going to give this a name. So I'm going to call this one transaction table. And then I'm going to scroll down. Now I want to auto detect the data type from the source and then click on create table. All right, so we have the Azure underscore sales data set and then the table. So this is the table icon and then this is the data set icon. So I can go on and right click or click on this ellipses and then I can query the data. So click on this query and then I can just put in stars. So I'm going to have the select all the rows from the Cornerstone IT project and then I'm going to see my data set name and then the name of my table. I can go ahead and run and preview this data. So there we go. I can close this for now and I can close this for now. So we have all the columns, the year, region, subcategory, product, price, quantity and sales. Brilliant. Now we want to go ahead and create a table in the Azure SQL database. So I'm going to come to my portal, the Azure portal, and then I've got this Cornerstone IT SQL database. I'm going to click on the query editor preview and I'm going to use the Microsoft Entra ID to authenticate. So click on continue as Abiola at Cornerstone IT Solutions. And there we go. So for now, I don't have any table. So I'm going to come to this notepad. Basically, I've got this create table query. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and control C and then come back here and control V. So we want to go ahead and call this table big Google big query sales and then we'll have the year column as integer region subcategory product as varchar and then we have the price quantity and the sales as integer data types. And then I'm going to scroll down. So we're going to have the select star from Google BigQuery sales. So I can go on and select all of this code and then run the script. So I'm going to come to the result and I'm going to see my table created and I can see the columns, the year, region, subcategory, product, price, uh, quantity, and then the sales amount. So that must match all the columns from our source, which is absolutely important. Now that's sorted. I'm going to go ahead and launch the Azure Synapse workspace. So I've got this Cornerstone IT Solutions Azure Synapse service created. So I'm going to go ahead and click on open here. So I'm going to open the Synapse Studio. In the Synapse Studio, I'm going to come to the integrate. Now in the integrate, I can click on this plus sign and then I can create a pipeline. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a meaningful name. I'm going to call this one data transfer and then press enter to commit. I can close these properties for now. So that has been renamed. And then I'm going to come to this activity and I'm going to use the copy data activity. So I'm going to drag this onto the canvas. I can collapse this for now. I can come to the general and give this a name. I'm just call this one data movement. And then, and then I can click on the source. Now in the source, we need to create source data set. So go ahead and click on this nail. And then now my data set is going to be big query. So I'm going to set for Google big query. Click on that and then click on continue. So I'm going to go with this name and then we need to create a linked service to 
the source. So click on this name. And then I'm going to stick this name. And this is going to be auto resolve integration runtime. So I need the project ID. So I'm going to come back here. Now I'm going to go back and expand this. So this is my project ID. So I'm going to copy this cornerstone IT solution. So whatever you have it is project ID from your source. Control C to copy. I'm going to come back here and Control V to paste. And then I'm going to provide the authentication kind. This is going to be the service authentication from my BigQuery. So for this, I'm going to provide the key file that I'm going to upload. So I'm going to go back to the BigQuery and I'm going to come here. I'm going to search for the IAM and click on that. So I'm going to leave this. So in the IAM, I'm going to go ahead and point to this IAM. So I'm going to expand this and then click on the service account. Click on that. And then we need to create a service account. So basically, I've got this one. But I'm going to show you how to create one. Click on this create service account. And then we're going to provide a name for this. I'm going to call this one Azure Data Movement. Okay. Okay. Let me just make this to be data movement. And then I'm going to say the service account ID. So this is fine. Go ahead and click on create and continue. So this is acceptable. And then we can provide a role. So we want to grant this service account access to our Cornerstone IT project. So I'm going to click on the select a role. I want to choose the basic and I want to choose the owner and then click on continue. And this is fine. So click on done. And that is sorted. So I'm going to see the Azure data movement. So I'm going to double click on that. And then I'm going to come to the keys. Now in the keys, we want to generate a new key. Click on this add key. And I want to create a new key. Click on that. So for our key, we want to choose the JavaScript object notation key type. So this is the recommended. Go ahead and click on create. And this is going to be downloaded onto my local laptop. So I'm going to have one here. And I'm going to go back to the Synapse and then click on browse file. I'm going to go to my download and then double click on this very first one double click and then i can test the connection to the source click on the test connection this should be successful okay connection successful go ahead and click on create link service okay so we can go on and specify the table name so i'm going to wait for the table name to deploy so i'm going to say the name of my data set and then the name of my table in a moment let's wait oh that's it click on that so i'm going to see the azure underscore sales data set and dot transaction table name click on that and then go ahead and click on okay so we have the configuration for the source and i want to go to the sync now this is going to be our destination the azure sql database again we want to create sync data set click on the new and then this is going to be azure SQL and then click on the SQL database. Click on continue. I'm going to stick with this name. Click on the linked service. I'm going to create a new linked service. I'm going to stick with this name. And of course, I'm going to point to my Azure subscription. So I'm going to choose the Visual Studio Enterprise. So click on this. And there we go. And I'm going to provide a name for my server name. So I'm going to choose the Cornerstone IT solutions here. And then I'm going to point to the database name. So click on that. I'm going to see the Cornerstone IT Solutions database. And then I'm going to provide the authentication card. It's going to be SQL authentication. So I need the username. I'm going to come here and I'm going to see my server admin, which is the same thing as my username. I'm going to copy this, which is under the SQL server. So come back and then Control V to paste. And then I'm going to type in the password and that's all i need to do go ahead and click on test connection again this should give us a successful connection super cool go ahead and click ok so we have the destination data set and the linked service created and then we can go on and perform the data orchestration so i'm going to go ahead and click on the target and then i want to choose the destination table so don't forget we've created this 
Google Big Query Sales Table. So I'm going to click in here and uh, search for that. There we go. So we're going to have the database owner dot Google Big Query Sales. Click on that. And then we're going to import the schema from connection store type. Go ahead and click on OK. OK, so we have the configuration for the source and then the destination. So we want to click on validate and this is looking cool and then go ahead and click on debug so this is going to run the data pipeline and then the job is going to be queued so we have the pipeline run id and then we can see the activity name the activity status and then we can see the activity type copy data and so many other information so i'm going to go ahead and click on this refresh and this is going to be in progress so in three minutes this should give us a successful data integration so let's wait for that okay brilliant we have the succeeded status so i can click on this output and i'm going to see what's going on so we have the data read 3810 and then we have number of rows right which is 49 rows and then the rows copied from the source so and it took 28 seconds and we have the throughput so which is fine now i can go on and check it out in my azure sql database i'm going to come here and then so i'm going to go back and query the select star so click on this select and then click on run and we should be able to see the data set which is absolutely cool so we can see all the record from the 2023 20, coming from our big query which is absolutely cool so when i come back here and i close this i can go back to this navigation menu scroll down to the big query launch the big query studio and then i can go on to my data set double click on this and then double click on the azure underscore sales double click on the transaction and then i can click on the preview so basically we're going to have the same data from our source and then to our destination which is the azure sql database so this is essentially how we can perform data integration from the bigquery platform to the azure sql database i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like share with your friends comment and follow me for more videos because the best is yet to come thank you for watching bye for now